Hello, this is MakerJ11, and here is my homemade high voltage flyback transformer. So, it still works great. Um, there's a couple little things. Um, I may re have to redo it soon because um, pu pushing it to 40 volts, I've gotten it to arc over um, inside the oil a little bit. Um, the one time when I just, because I'm just, I just have the um, Variac set at about 40 volts, 41 volts, I think. Um, it's about the maximum voltage. But um, so I have it set about 40 volts, and then I just switch it on um, with the power strip down there. And um, the one time when I switched it on, there was a bright flash in there, and I switched it off real quick, and there was like a bunch of black oil that came up. So it arced over right, right, right at the wire there, arced over to one of the um, inner windings. So may need to replace it soon. But regardless, I'm still going to need to put um, new wires on here. So. The one thing that's kind of confusing is why these wires here are all frying, but the wires going in aren't frying. So it must be something with the frequency, or I don't know. Um, another thing I may do is remove the uh, metal clip, because it seems as though it might be actually, um, the coils around it might be actually inducting inductive heating the um, clip, because the clip seems to, it seems to boil right up, right where that clip is, it seems to just boil right out of there. So I'm kind of thinking that that actually might be um, heating up and because of the high frequency. So so yeah, um, you guys were, some of you guys didn't think that it was really, that I was really pumping 1000 watts into this and I am putting over 1000 watts into it. So the, pa the lines going in um, from the 120 volt outlet, I get about 11 amps going in there when I'm putting 40 volts out. Um, so I have the very set at 40 volts um, so I get about 12 or 11 amps going in at 120 volts. So that's over a thousand amps there. And then coming out of the Variac, um, it's really hard to tell, but I get about 35 to um, 35 to 30 volts or amps coming out at about 30 volts um, because it drops down when you start arcing it. So I'm getting probably at least 900 watts there coming out. And then um, there's some loss through the heat sink, which is, it actually doesn't really get that hot. And then the capacitors and then the transformer. Now the arcs, I get, I'm actually measuring, able to measure the current with this uh, meter. I have um, six turns of um, wire on here, high voltage wire, um, so that I have a little bit more precise reading or accurate reading. So I just, um, so have that on there, on the clamp meter. And whatever the current is that's displayed on here, which is about two, or about three amps, or what was it? Yeah, about two to three amps it displays on here. I divide that by six, and I'm maximum current at um, 40 volts, I get about um, half an amp. So that is a lot of output. And then if you divide 900 by half an amp, I believe um, you get about 1.6 kilo, or yeah, 1.6 kilovolts. So um, it's not that high of a voltage, but the current is quite high. <laughs> so I was actually um, took this sand and I was arcing in that, and I made some nice little sand or glass um, bits. So <laughs> I was kind of having fun with that. But um, yeah, I have to be really, really careful with this because this is very dangerous at that current. So yes, I'm going to be very careful. <laughs> but um, yeah, I also have this little meter on here. I was just um, testing that, but you can only go up to about 20 volts on the Variac before it maxes out that little meter, because that only goes up to 5 amps. But um, So, yeah. Alright, so let me show you what that current looks like. So whatever current you see on there divided by 6, and that's the real current coming out of the transformer at the high voltage. So, um, and I'm putting about 40 volts in. Let me see what it looks like when I turn it on. Yep, about 40, 41 volts right now. I saw 3.7 amps there. Oh, I'm getting some uh, smoke back there. I think my um, oh, <laughs> the um, meter is actually arcing to the grounded soldering iron. <laughs> so I guess I should put something behind this. So let's do that. Okay, let's try that again. It's probably not good for the meter. Yeah, I'm seeing about 3 amps there. 
3.3 there. So, yeah, quite a bit of current. So if you divide um, uh, 3.7, I think that was the max current I saw, divide that by um, 6. So we're getting about 0 0.6 amps coming out of that. So 600 milliamps, that is a lot of current. So, um, yeah. Um, let me get a shot on the oil and so you can see what it looks like when it's bu All right, so let's see if we can get a shot on the oil when it's um, bubbling. There we go, it's really bubbling now. So it seems to really bubble when, you do, when you're not actually arcing with it. It really heats it up. So that's what, kind of why I'm thinking it might be induction heating actually on the little clip. So, not sure, but that's just a guess. So, Alright, so let's arc a little bit of sand here. So here we go. really sounds very happy. <laughs> it's a 10 amp variac. It's holding up quite well. But my, whoop, I don't think I was actually arcing there. Pause here for a second. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, not bad. There we are. Let's make another one. Put that back down in the sand. This thing definitely holds up a lot better than um, your average flyback transformer from a TV. Get that off there. All right, here we go again. It's hard to tell if it's actually arcing or not. Look at that, nice and glowing. wires. <laughs> Some more. <laughs> it's not very long arcs. It's not really high enough voltage to get really, really long arcs. But... Alright, so as you might have noticed, I actually almost added more capacitors. Well, actually I replaced the larger ones because they kind of overheated too much just because they were too large and the little tiny wires overheated so I replaced them with a bunch of smaller ones, slightly smaller ones and um, I really have not had I tried just like a couple of these little ones and I mean I had some for performance with those and then when I went with larger capacitors I, the performance just seemed to get better but at this much even if I add more it just doesn't seem to really it just doesn't seem to change the performance that much because I also tried um, this capacitor bank on it and um, it didn't really have that much effect it seems to be about the same as two of these so I don't know <laughs> even one of these is about the same as two so it just doesn't really I don't know if it really doesn't change the maybe it's just because the amount of power that I'm putting through it it um, just doesn't have much of an effect but um, so very X pretty warm <laughs> Windings aren't really toasty hot though, even though I'm pulling a lot of current through that thing. <laughs> what I really should do is get a um, transformer to put on the Variac that puts out like 60 volts maximum and at like, I don't know, some ridiculous current like 50 amps or something. That's what I should really get. So then the Variac can go all the way up to full power and the transformer put out 60 volts because I'm really not going to pump more than 60 volts into this just because the sheer amount of current that it requires um, so maybe I should get maybe I should just get some um, 12 volt batteries that might be better but I don't know so 
Um, but yeah, that is the progress on the Transformer. I have not made a cap for this yet. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to or not with this Transformer, because this one does seem like it may fail soon. I might just push this one till it fails, just to see how it fails, because it might be cool. But, um, so, yeah, maybe I'll do that on the next one. Because I actually do have a slightly larger, um, core that I would use for my second one, and I think I'll put more like a thousand turns on the second one, so I get a little bit higher voltage, but, um, yeah, that's, that's the update on the, um, high voltage, making some sand, or some glass there, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.